All right, Bear, time for our best bets. First of the NFL season. I mean, look, I guess I have a middle for the Hall of Fame game, so it's not my first wager of the NFL season. <laughs> but what is your best bet for team win totals for the National Football League? Because of, because of course you have a middle on the Hall of Fame game. Who, who, who does it? But I'm um, people who know me know that I am a contrarian better. I like taking a little bit opposite of the, the public stance on a couple of teams. Uh, and I'm under eight and a half on the Chargers. Uh, I think you're certainly getting a, a bump here if you're fading the Chargers uh, because of Harbaugh and a perceived easy schedule. Uh, but this is kind of a total roster overhaul uh, after being in cap hell. It just seems like no matter who the coach is or who the quarterback is or what the situation is, bad luck just seems to follow the Chargers year in and year out. I think the secondary could be really, really bad. I know the division isn't great, uh, certainly with the Raiders and Broncos in there, so you get some opportunities to win some games there. But what, the, what they lose 63-21 to the Raiders last year, and the Raiders stunk last year. Oh, jeez. Yeah, like, I, that game. Jeez, you're right. I, right. I, I think, I think – look, I'm a hardball guy. I'm a fan. I think ultimately he will get it fixed and turned around there, but – expecting nine and eight right right here in year one i think it's a little too much i think i think if you are looking to fade the chargers i think you're going to be getting a uh a lot of value this year yeah. so this is a, a fun one for me because I, I think that um harbaugh was a great hire we we actually have talked about this on the show way back in january you know like about how what we think about the hire it's a real mm-hmm. it's a real professional coach in, in the organization like they, they actually went right. out spending money on on harbaugh but we have to not overlook, to your point, the roster. It's not great right now. And it's going to take a year of Harbaugh just sort of pounding the culture mm-hmm. into the Chargers to get them to where they need to be. Um, and we we love Herbert. I love their draft pick. I, I, their draft was great, I thought, right? They got Alt and, and McConkey, and they got the, the line, Colston, right, from Michigan. Like they, they got good dudes. But it's just not enough. In year one, even though he has had success at, at programs in year one, I'm with you on the under here. Uh, my over, we're going to stay out west. Different conference, though. Arizona Cardinals over six and a half bear. When Murray came back last year, they were three and five. Like, and, and of course, he missed half a year, so it took him a little bit of time to get into it. I think Kyler Murray, with the addition of of, of, of Marvin Harrison, plus we're, we're reports out of Camp Paris Johnson Jr., the, the left tackle's playing well. Like, they seem to have this young talent sort of picking up. Defense wasn't great last year, but they can't get any worse, first of all. But John McGandy, head coach, does some fun, unique things on film that I think translate well to his team being better this season. And when the offense playing better, you don't need to do so much with your defense, right? They can relax a little bit, play a little tougher, play a little freer. So I got Arizona here over six and a half. Um, you know, I think they're about an eight or nine win team. Well, it's funny you say eight eight wins or so, because I was going to say, and I'm going to give uh, give my guy Cleve TA, follow him on Twitter, uh, a buddy of mine, a really good uh, NFL handicapper and puts out a really thorough uh, NFL preview, which, by the way, is free. So just go, you can go to his Twitter feed and figure out how to get that. He has a really good chart in there about why it is, it is a good thing to play all season win totals uh, and, and how often like uh, a win total is off by about two wins yeah. or so. And it, it, it's really fascinating. So like uh, if you like Arizona over six and a half, uh, maybe play him over seven and a half at a better number because more often than not, you see the win total be be, be offered by by a couple of by a couple of wins in both either the positive or the negative, and you can get a really good plus price on some good of idea. I play yeah. I played an under seven and a half uh, at like plus two seventy on the Chargers. Like I know uh, DraftKings has he's available. Circa Circa Sports out in Las Vegas has them available as well. So uh, look around and, and find the the, the best way. To, to maximize uh, these win win total bets because uh, we all think we know what we're talking about at this point in the year. But if you're uh, having a contrarian opinion on something and you're right, you're in a position to make a really nice plus money profit on your wagers. Bear Bets full episodes drop twice a week right here on the Bear Bets YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to stay ahead of the odds and let's celebrate all of our wins together.